if a measurement is made correct to a given unit then true value lies half a unit below and half a unit above the measurement for example if 12 is correct to the nearest unit you need to find out the possible numbers below 12 that could be corrected to 12 and possible numbers above that could also be corrected or rounded down to 12. Now, since there are several numbers above and below, we, all we need to know is the least number. And because we said it's, it lies half a unit below, we take 0.5 from 12, and 11.5 becomes the least number, which we call the upper bound, or the smallest possible value. And 0.5 above, 12.5 becomes the biggest or the upper bound or the largest possible value. So we are saying that the mod 12 life lies halfway between 11.5 and 12.5. And to express the error interval, we use this inequality to express it. And we are saying 12 will be between 11.5 and closest to 12.5. I will talk more of error interval during the latter part of the lesson. The only information I want is to take from here to the next slide is that our number must be halfway between the boundaries. So how do we create a rule? Since the number is halfway, you always go by what is said as the rule because it says that we are supposed to write 5 and 67 which are all measured to the nearest unit. So the key word is what? Nearest unit. And the unit is 1 so to create a rule, we divide 1 by 2. So our rule is plus or minus 0.5 to create a lower and the upper bound. So the lower bound for 5 will be 4.5. Upper bound for 5 will be 5.5. .5. Lower bound for 7 similarly will be 66.5 for 67. And upper bound for 67 will be 67.5 all to the nearest unit. Now, what if these measurements are done correct to the nearest one decimal place? So, one decimal place, the value for one decimal place is 0 0.1. So, to create the rule, we take 0 0.1 and halfway we divide it by 2. So, which means our rule will be now be plus or minus 0 0.05. So, lower bound for 6.8 is 6.75. Upper bound, 6.85. Similarly, lower bound for 14 is 13.95. And upper bound is 14.05. So we always divide the given approximation uh, clue by 2 to create a rule. Nearest 10. So the approximation clue here is nearest 10. So we take 10. And we divide it by 2 to create the upper and lower bound for these two numbers. So it's going to be plus or minus 5. So 1040, lower bound will be 1035. Upper bound, 1045. Similarly, 20, lower bound is 15. And upper bound is 25. And in all, if you check, the given number lies exactly halfway. The given number lies exactly half. That's one way of checking your answers.